my lovely Nesnix and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about makeup. What else is new? So last year I did a video 10 makeup products that I regret buying. And this time I'm doing 10 makeup products that I do not regret buying. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative. And let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means that I am kind of like my shirt. <laughs> I am olive. I'm a light to light medium warm-ish olive. The relatively vintage means that I am 46. Yes. Oh, I also have cat hair everywhere, which is also very normal for me. Uh, I also have ADHD and I'm autistic, so I am, uh, I don't know, box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Something like that. <laughs> so the products that I pulled today are products that I... I knew I would kind of like or hope I would kind of like and ended up being so, so glad that I bought these. And I have 10, well, I have more physical products in front of me, but I have 10. And let's just get into it. I will link the video that I did last year, the makeup products that I regret buying underneath the card. So let's start with foundation because I can. And I have most of the products actually on my face today. So let's start with the first product, which is, oh, they're not ranked, by the way. They are not. <clears throat> I'm just going to talk about them. Let's start with the House Labs foundation. So I actually bought shade 190 Light Cool first in the hopes that I would like it. I loved it so, so much that I bought the lighter shade. So this is actually my summer shade. And this is my maybe a hint to light still in the depths of winter. So I kind of mixed the two together a little bit. But the finish of this is just so, so pretty. I've raved about this foundation, honestly. The finish is so, so pretty. Depending on the powder that you use or the primer that you use underneath, you can kind of make it a little bit more glowy or a little bit less glowy, but still kind of a natural finish, if that makes any sense. And that is what it looks like on me, at least. Now, my skin is normal to dry. If that helps any. Okay. The next product that I'm going to go to is... Let's then go to a concealer. And that is Kosas. Now, I also have the foundation from Kosas that I also really, really love. But I pulled the concealer because I love this concealer so, so much. That not only is it almost done, I also have the summer shade of this. And yeah, I have the shade 3.20 right now and in summer i have the shade 5.5 this this concealer it's just so so nice it's nice and hydrating but it's a it's a thicker consistency but still lightweight and if i let it sit on my eyes a little bit longer before i blend it out i can also change the coverage a little bit so make it a little bit more fuller coverage i really really enjoy this so i'm so so happy that i bit the bullet no that's a weird weird anyway that i ended up purchasing it um yeah let's next go then to let's go to blush because i can let's go to uh, a cream blush quad that i actually bought because i liked the outer packaging and i like the colors that were in there but i was like me i don't know if i'll like it i hope i will it's actually creams and it's from makeup revolution it's their uh, harley quinn and joker love Mad Love Blush Quad. This, these are creams. And I have this on today. I use this so, so much. And I did not expect to love it as much as I do. But I'm so, so happy that I <clears throat> that I tried this out. It's one of the few really cream blushes that I really, really enjoy. The rest are a little bit, you know, kind of like the Super Shock or a more liquidy. I really, really enjoy this quad. So I'm so, so happy that I purchased that. The next product is from Kaleidos and it is their powder blushes. Now I just pulled one. I have four of them here and I love them all. The shades that I love the most are the shade Joyride and the shade Sanguine. And I've mentioned them a couple of times already. But I'm just so, so happy that I did decide to buy this. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I wanted to when this launched, but I'm very, very happy that I did. Because the formula of this, it is just so, so nice. The colors are stunning. It's so easy to work with. You can build them. You can blend them. I can be a little bit more heavy handed. Uh, and still be able to work with it. So I'm very happy that I bought these. Yes. Next I'm going to go to Makeup Revolution again. For their super dewy bronzer in medium to tan. When I saw this one I was kind of doubting. I was like do I try it? Do I not try it? Um, me being an olive bronzers are a little bit more difficult 
to get right because they go orange very very quickly but I am very happy that I did decide to try this one now for me right now it's actually too orange I do have it on today but I did kind of tone it down by tapping over a little bit of concealer or foundation again <clears throat> in summer this is very very pretty though in winter it is too orange But in summer, I kind of get a little bit more golden and then it really works. And I'm so happy that I tried it. Next, I'm going to go to a brow product. And I have loved the particular brow product that I'm going to talk about for years. But now, before I bought the specific color that I'm going to mention, I was going back and forth for months. Then I'm like, do I do it? Do I not do it? Mm, I don't know how it will look. Uh, it's from NYX. It's the Lift and Snatch in black. And I don't have a NYX store here. Uh, we have NYX in store at Douglas in the next town over basically. But I, when I was there, I constantly forgot to check and swatch. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. Try the color. If it is too dark and I get, you know, those Bird and Ernie brows then I at least know. But I am so, so happy that I bought it. Now, on camera, it looks a little bit more red than it does in real life, and it matches my hair very, very well. So <clears throat> I'm glad that I finally decided to try the black. Yes. Let's go next to... Um, let's go to an eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette in question, I bought to do a video. It's from ABH. Fortunately, my local Douglas puts out the new ABH releases before they go officially online. So this happened to me twice. It happened to me with the Nouveau. It happened to me with this one. So you may guess which one I'm going to talk about. The color story was, I was like, yeah, it's me. But I knew that I could get it early and could get a video up quickly. So I was like, that's a good investment. And... I am very, very happy that I bought it. And it's the Rose Metals from ABH. Now, again, as I said, the color story, I was like, yeah, it looks more vibrant in person than it does online. And online, I saw that I was like, it's a little bit me. Uh, but when I played with this, I was so, so pleasantly surprised. I love the new formula that she's doing, but also the colors. And even with me being an olive, now I do have to say I'm a warmer olive, but still these colors all work for me. And this shade here, the shade Rose Fire, it's just such a stunning shade that uh, I am very happy that I bought this one. Yes, I have another eyeshadow palette that I'm going to mention. And when I saw this released i knew i wanted it because i loved the color story so much now i did see kind of videos online that people were not really liking this palette but i had already bought it so i was like let's hope that i do it's the palette that i have on my eyes right now and i am very much not disappointed by this palette i'm so so happy that i bought it this is the i'm going to say it in dutch because i cannot pronounce it the english way Aurora struck. If I try to say it in English, I don't know what happens, but I just cannot. I cannot. I've also done a multiple looks video with this. The color story is so, so stunning. And even the lighter shade, I actually used this shade today. That I was like, it's a pastel. Will it show up on me? Yes, it does. It turns... Um, I don't want to say very blue on me, but combined with this one, I get it a little bit more green and I can kind of make my own teal. Uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the pigmentation of the darker shadows and the shimmers are, can we focus, are stunning and very, very easy to work with. I, I just have so much fun with this palette. When I open it up, it makes me very, very happy to look at and I'm very happy that I decided to pick this one up then i'm going to go to lippies and i have heard people rave about this lip formula before especially angelica nickvis she loves this lip formula i know but i was always a little bit like yeah you know whatever mm. and then i decided to just chuck one in a bag because i think they were either on sale or i could get free shipping i don't know and it's from colourpop it's the just a tint now the shade that i have on my lips today is the shade city of stars and this is actually a new one i bought this one first which is the shade cherry picking you've seen me wear this one it's a little bit more on the they say it's a honey brown and it's a very very pretty color but i i was so impressed by this one that i bought three more so this formula oh my lord i think it's one of my favorite formulas it's hydrating when you just put it on it's very very glossy it does fade away but it, it has kind of faded away a little bit but it's just so so pretty and the colors that i have are a little bit more orangey 
or you know orangey leaning I'm very happy that I finally decided to try one my wallet is a little bit less happy though because yeah as I said I bought three more then the last um, product that I'm going to mention are brushes and the brand in question I love I've loved for a long long time and they finally released vegan brushes and I was like I really wanted to try them and I was like I, I'll probe, I hope I'll like them but I did not expect to love them as much as I do and they are from Lethal they are dirty because I used them today I actually used the powder brush to powder brush today to powder my face and I, I do like it especially with the house labs powder but usually I use this for bronzer and especially the house labs bronzer but these brushes they <clears throat> i'm so so happy that i bought these they are not only synthetic and vegan brushes the quality is so so nice they are also very very easy to clean i have iso clean here and they're so easy to clean and i hear you saying why didn't you well because i kind of was lazy a little bit this morning that is it they are they pick up product so so well they are extremely soft and definitely recommend where is the highlighter brush oh yeah this highlighter brush i love this highlighter brush <laughs> so so much uh, even this one which is their um their eyeshadow brush basically their biggest eyeshadow brush it's a little bit too big if you if you want to do detail work in your smaller eyes or even my eye shape this is too big but i love this to put down a wash of color and to you know have a fluffy brush to blend it out with i love these so much i'm so so happy that i decided to try them I wanted to, to get more. I did not buy the entire set because there were brushes in there that I was like, yeah, I don't think that I'll need them. But I'm kind of sad that I not that I did not buy at least some of the other brushes. I'm definitely going to. I'm definitely going to. And then that was it for today's video. I thought that this would just be a fun, lighthearted video. And as I'm filming this it's the 30th of December so people are are going bonkers with the fireworks again so that is what you were hearing I hope that you didn't freak out too much and um, yeah let me know if you know any of the products let me know some of the products that you are very very glad that you bought and if you have any videos video ideas kind of like this let me know down below in the comment section for now I'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and I will see you soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.